Hello everyone and welcome back to Keepsakes by Patty Cakes. Today I'm working on Roxy's weekly challenge. I believe it's week 31 and I can't remember what it's called. But it is Vellum Book Page Pockets. Um, but I will put the correct name of it um, on the title. So basically what we're doing... And you don't have to use book pages. You can use any papers you want. But we're taking some book pages or paper. Um, and we're going to be folding them. And then putting the vellum on the front. Which you'll see what I mean if you haven't already seen her video. So the first one I'm going to do is I want to take... Um, page from this fairy book and I will cut some of that off. I have other um, papers cut from just scraps and stuff too um, where we can make some out of those as well. And sides don't look even. Let me see. Let's see about an inch and a quarter. Not sure. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it on this one. And all we're going to do is Fold over the sides fairly um, the same width and I can see I'm going to have to cut off some of mine because I don't want them that thick and I could have made it um, a little bit wider but since I already creased it I'm just going to go with it on this one and then Oops, sorry about that. Cut off. Oh, let me start my timer. And cut off some of this. Cut this off to about... And I'm just eyeballing this. If you want to uh, go ahead and do measurements, you can do that by all means. And so this will go like this and this will come up like that. So I'm going to go ahead and fold a couple of those and get them ready, like a mass making, but I won't be making them all, I don't think, in this one. I'll probably make a couple and maybe decorate one. Do one with this floral book page. And I didn't even, I went right into it, but welcome everyone new and old and anyone who is not a subscriber, but I hope you'll join us. Um, I'm going to take some of this off to make the pocket smaller. And I hope everyone is doing well. And staying safe. It was an awfully, awfully warm, humid day today. It was um, the temperature of the outside in when I was in the car today was 89 degrees. But with the humidity, it was a lot worse. 
I think. And uh, we had uh, Rod's mom's car, and the air conditioning isn't working right, so... Yeah. I think I might go ahead and make this one one, too. I did get to stop at uh, Dollar Tree, though. And, uh, not my local one. It's, uh, probably about a 45-minute drive away from here. Um, and, uh, did find a couple stickers, and I did find, uh, I know I'm getting off track, but I did find, uh, this pink burlap ribbon, which I thought was really pretty, so I snatched that up. And, uh, can't think of what else I got. And then, had a wonderful find tonight. Sorry, my cats are growling. Um, Rod was cleaning out our laundry room slash, um, the storage room. Oh, I think I want this on the inside. And found a box of things that I totally forgot about that were craft items um, from my grandma Elsie, which is my stepmom's mom. And she had passed away and so my stepmom gave me some of her craft items and I found vintage ribbons sorry my air just came on too um, vintage ribbons and um, quilt patterns and fabrics that yeah that I didn't even know I had so that was fun should just cut all these while I'm here. While I got this out. I think I could probably get two out of this one. Mm. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do for now. So, I felt like I hit the jackpot today. And they were actually things that I probably would have bought had I seen them for sale in somebody's online sale. This is a copy of a letter of mine from, I think it's 1908. Don't know if it's 1808 or 1908, but the paper is absolutely um, crumbling apart from the um, pen that was used back then. It like cut through the paper. And I don't have any, um, what you call it, like acid free um, plastic folders to save them in so they're in with the rest of my antique papers for now there we go I bet you it'd look really cute to make a teeny tiny one too I'm going to take this one and make a tiny one. This is thick cardstock, though, so... Oops, sorry. Not sure how well it will fold. Oops, I forgot to hold that down. But it would be fun to make a bunch of different sizes of these. 
but for video purposes, I thought I would just make some bigger ones so I wouldn't have to cut the <laughs> um, gel them all different sizes, but probably will have to anyways. So what I'm going to do where I folded it, I'm going to cut it and at a slight angle and do that as well on the bottom flap. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Just so there's not so much bulk when putting these down. It's easier to see on this side, I think. Let's fold that. There we go. I've been uh, wanting to get out my Artie Mays journal. I just had a lot going on recently, and but I will get at it and get another video out here soon to work on that journal. I think it's going to be fun. And then, speaking of goodies, um. I'm going to my mom's tomorrow to help her out with a couple things. And um, she is getting rid of her all her Christmas stuff. So she wants me to go through it and see what I want out of it because I lost all my Christmas decorations in our garage, our garage had a leak and on the roof and unfortunately it leaked on all my bins and even though, though the bins had lids on them, the moisture got inside of them and molded all of my items. Thankfully, all my son's baby ornaments and things that he made throughout the years. I had already given those to him before that happened so he could have them for his family and kids. So I was really thankful that I did that. Oh, and then my friend Deborah reminded me of um, tissue paper that was like a purpley lavender um, that she had sent me that will go well in the Artie Mays journal. So I'm going to add that to it as well. Not all of it, just a, a piece of it because I'm hoarding it for myself. Uh that out and next I'm gonna need some vellum I wonder if these ones are wide enough oh my goodness that's like perfect that was a scrap piece nice so I'm just gonna mark that and cut it Should have brought my water in with me. My mouth is so dry. Okay, got that one. Now we need one for this one. And that one is not wide enough. So let me get a piece here. Let's see what I need to cut this one to.
Oops, I forgot to mark it on the other side. I'll be lucky if I get one of these done by the time I'm done cutting. And it doesn't matter if they're a little bit um, shorter because the side flaps will cover them, if you know what I mean. to clean my table off. It's getting to where I have no room to work. I need to do some serious organizing. I'd be so embarrassed if anyone saw it right now. <laughs> Oops, I don't go for that one, and one for this one. It should be the same, maybe the same width, but right here, and about there. I, when I saw Rachel making these. I got so excited and couldn't wait to make them because I thought they were so cool. And then so much time has already gone by and I'm late to the party. And this is, what day is this? Friday in the middle of the night. So, I need to do some catching up because the next one comes out <laughs> and, you know, wow, these are all cut crooked. Yeah, the next one's coming out in a few days. barely see a dot where that was. <laughs> I saw a couple other videos that were inspiring today, too, using index cards. So I'm going to have to make some of those for my new journal, too. Uh-oh. There we go. Looks like it needs to come off a little bit more. My son and daughter-in-law are still looking for a place to rent for things, and they only have until um, the end of the month to find a new place. I'm really praying that they find something. I 
I can't, cannot get over how much the prices for apartments have increased since the they consider the COVID thing over. Um, you know, so they don't give any more breaks to um, for landlords not to increase the rent. And they're all increasing them now. And evicting people and people not being able to afford um, the rent now, which is what happened to my mom, but she did end up working with the uh, landlord because she had been living there for 18 years, so I'm so thankful for that. Because being on a fixed income less than a thousand dollars a month um, you can hardly afford a place to live and I'm not trying to be um, um, I don't know what the word is <laughs> trying to put my mom's business out there but um, it just is so upsetting when you only make $800 a month on a fixed income and um, your landlord wants to raise your, raise your rent to $800 a month. And so like I said, luckily she did find another place um, for five fifty a month, and but like I said, the landlord it was a he wasn't the same landlord that she had. He actually was a new landlord that had purchased her building. It's only a um, four apartment uh, apartment building, and. Uh oh, my mark disappeared. And, uh, I don't know what I did. <laughs> Maybe it was supposed to be this one. Yeah, let's try that. Um, so I, I just, it's so hard, you know. Having a parent that's a senior and something like that happens. But I'm, I'm sure down the road it's just going to increase and, you know, Social Security doesn't increase um, a whole heck of a lot. I think it was one point something percent this past year. But I really wish that senior citizens had homes to go to, to be able to live in. Because not all families can afford to put them in a rest home or don't even want them in a rest home. I know I haven't heard good things about them. And uh, that scares me. Because we're all going to become senior citizens sooner or later, you know. So. Oh, that's going to be cute. I didn't even use all this. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to try to do, I have this old yucky tape, but um, it's double-sided tape. And I have this thin one, but from laying around, it got all kinds of dirt and dust on it. But I'm going to try to use it for this and see how it goes. 
hoping it'll work. And I apologize if you see the top of my head <laughs> under the camera. This tape isn't too old. Okay. Oop. A fuzzy. Try to center that. And the only reason why I'm trying to use the double tape, <clears throat> excuse me, is because sometimes the glue doesn't stick very well and I thought that would be fast. And I should have put this on top instead of the sides like that, but it can be decorated. Now this one's a little wider and I'm hoping... Yeah, maybe I should use the. Th I'm just going to use the thin stuff and put it to the outside so I don't catch the inside of the envelope. Or pocket, rather. Oops. Cats are just having a go at it tonight. This one I'm going to have to cut a little bit. The tape came out. And I'm just giving it a press down so the... Um, Tape really sticks well. So this time, you know what? So it doesn't move on me. This is probably something that doesn't need done, but I'm just going to get one of these little clips to hold it in place for me while I put the sides on. Just want to make sure. Oh. Can't do it like that, Patty. It's gonna have to be held down like that. Hmm. I kind of moved it instead of having it centered. There we go. I hope this works. And you could, well, nah. Well, I only have 17 minutes left, and I haven't even got two done. There we go. Now, isn't that pretty? Oh, 
I just love these. And she also had some um, vellum that was uh, printed on and I don't know if I, I also seen someone else use some that they bought that was printed on and oh my goodness are they beautiful some you can't see as much through them but they are still very pretty This one fits a little better, so I'm not going to worry about sticking it down or pinning it down. Oops, that end didn't stick. Let's try taking it up over here. Oh. Come on. We can do it. Nope. It's coming up with the tape. That's just my luck. <laughs> oh, and they also used a tear ruler and, um, did their edges with a tear roller, which looks really cool. But I totally forgot about that, so I'm just doing them this way, I guess. I'm going to take this one and maybe do it and then put a tiny bit of decoration on one. Since this is the one, this is a paper from the kit of Artie Mazes that I'm using. Oh, nobody said anything in the last video. I don't think, uh, so maybe people didn't watch it. <laughs> but, uh, if there were any good movies that anyone was watching. I just thought about that as I was thinking haven't watched anything recently. I did watch one movie, but I can't remember the name of it now. And I'm still watching the Columbo. The old Columbos. But really, I like all different type of movies. Not just a certain kind, you know? Okay, I'll do these ones after I'm done filming, and maybe we'll just decorate a couple. Oh, this is the same too. I didn't even realize that. So, I think what I'm going to do on one of them, I want to put a, a little applique. I don't think I have any purple ones. These are like a pinky lavender. It doesn't really go. That one doesn't look too bad, but I'd rather have something more neutral, I think. And that's really pretty, but it's a little long. Just 
want one. Oh, that's pretty. I don't want to cover up all the vellum, you know, because I want to see what goes inside of it. But I do like that. I think mean, I'm going to go ahead and use that one on there. Maybe I could do it on the bigger one. Since this one's a little bigger. Yeah. I'll do that. And I'm hoping that the Fabri-Tac will work. It'll probably take longer to dry on this vellum, but... I have a hard time getting vellum to stick, so we'll see. Thinking I should have used a sponge or something. So this is probably gonna get on the vellum and be a mess. You stuck on it. Don't want that. Or not tissue, but dry wipe. Get this little corner. There we go. That's just really pretty by itself, I think. I think I'm going to leave that one like that. And then, let's see, I've got tons of fussy cuts, die cuts, um, flowers, I'm wondering, these are from my porch prints, and it's lots of pretty, yeah, I don't want to have to try to cut out the center of that. Well, this one's really pretty, too. But it kind of takes up the whole thing, and I don't want that, so I think I'll use that. And I don't want everything purple because... Like that one, too. I don't want everything purple because they're not just going to be used in this journal. That one would be pretty. I need it in a smaller one, though. Too big. Oh, that's really pretty with the. I think I might try to use that. But see, I can't cut this part out without a. a what you call it, knife. So I'm just gonna kiss cut this and see if it'll work. Um. I would like to, I, I'm hoping that um, my porch prints comes out with another one just like this without the like gray shading around it. Um, because I mean I can fussy cut up to the plant but some of the branches and stuff are so thin that I'd like to be able to kiss cut around them um, and have the white, you know what I mean. And then I can distress them or whatever, whatever color that I'm working with. My timer is going to go off here. And, well, it says I got seven minutes still. But the other white parts of it, I'm, I'm not cutting out the in-betweens. Because I'll never be able to get it. 
trying to do it fast, honey. Oh, we got our uh, first tomato turning red. And I'm excited about that. Um, Rod's brother also has a garden uh, next door. A lot bigger garden than ours. And we had a, a tomato off of his. Oh my goodness, was it so good. <laughs> we had BLTs and it was just fabulous. Okay, so I think I'm going to put that there. And I need, oh... I need a label, and I have some here from G. Kerr. I wonder if I can cover that. Nah, it's too much. Um, how about this color? Nope. Hmm. It's purple, purple, purple. Oh, these are cute. That might be nice on there. It says, every moment is a fresh beginning. So I might put that up that way a little bit. Uh, wish I could cover up this white. There are some other ones in that there that are curved. It might look pretty. That would look really cute at the bottom of one. Mm. I can't make up my mind. <clears throat> Should I just do that? Maybe I could do it. Oh, there we go. I'm going to do it that way. Yep. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the edges. Apparently, I can't even kiss cut right because there's white on the edges. They give you all that room with the gray. And okay, oops, I forgot to shut this glue. I haven't used this one in a while. Oh, good, it's playing along. I can't get over all the birthdays this month in my family, too. I've got quite a few of them. My niece, my brother, Rods, my granddaughters. Um, I'm sure there were others that I'm missing. Now this one I'm doing in black. And I think I'm going to do the outside of that black. Should have did the flower outline in black too, but that'll be something different. Well, I didn't curve it as much as I wanted to, but that's okay. Hopefully that'll stick. Looks like it's doing okay. Now I want to see what this will look like. I'm using um, black soot. But a lot of things in um, the kit I've done with black soot around it. So I'll just try to be a little consistent. I don't know whether to do this top or not. Oh, what the heck. I'm going to try it anyways. That doesn't look too bad. There we go. 
And this one, I think I'm going to leave it. And then we got this really tiny, tiny one. Let's see if I can find something little to put on it. I did cut out her labels, little ones. I did um, two to a page and, and then, you know, her regular ones. Um, like this size. And then we also have the bigger size. Oh, that's quite cute. I'd like to have something pink, though, kind of. Oh, that'd make a cute paper clip with the back. I did this one backwards to the uh, how I did the other one. And I think I'm going to put that on there. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that. And G's um, around hers is gray. Um, so that's why I'm using the black suit to highlight it. Soot, not suit. Where'd you get suit at, Patty? Maybe a little butterfly, which I didn't cut them all out yet, but, oh, there goes my timer. I'm just going to continue on. Yeah, I don't have these ones cut out yet. I love this blue color. Wish there were some pink ones like this. Or did well there was pink and green and I'd like to have some with pink and the purple on the outside. Which I'm probably just not seeing them. We'll see if this size will work. Now this was a um butterflies kit of G Kurs as well. I think I have two of hers. And this is the mini butterfly butterflies. But they're perfect for me. I love the little sizes. And I think I'm gonna do some of these butterflies and make them shiny. Maybe I'll do that in another video. Just so I'll have some made. This one I'm going to use brown on the outside. had my purples and pinks out, but didn't have the brush ready. So I'm just going to hold it in the center and curl it a little bit. And still thinking it needs a pink one, but I'm going to do it since I have it cut. little gems. I think these are too big. I need one of my little pearls. And I don't know where I put them. They're under my messes somewhere here. Here we go. Oh, 
Although that blue would look really pretty on there. I think I'm going to go with that. Make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to leave the glue to dry. There, isn't that cute? You could also add lace at the bottom of these and do all kinds of stuff. Okay, this one's really vintage -y. I think I'm going to use some Tim Holtz. These ones, Tim Holtz. Um, maybe in this pretty blue. Yeah, maybe pink too. I like this one. Oh, this one is not punched out all the way. Just noticed that. Yes, I'm really loving that blue. I don't know if I'll ever have anything to match it, but <laughs> I love it. It's a lighter blue. Yep, I'm going to go with those. Oh, should I have a third one? Like leaves or something? Maybe in my, it's in my other one. Yeah, here we go. something. I don't know. I kind of just like those two. Maybe that and a label. Okay. I'll go ahead and glue this down. I fell in love with these when they came out and couldn't afford them at the time because I was buying all the major things I thought I needed. And uh, But anyways, so I finally got these ones and I have like a similar generic brand one. And then I ordered this month the I think it was one of the wildflower ones. It's kind of hard though storing them because I get them all tangled up. If anybody has any storage ideas, oh I didn't have to glue that all the way down. Any storage ideas for these please let me know because mine just get all tangled up everywhere. that off. Oops, now it's going to glue to my thing. <laughs> and this one, I want right here. So I'll just put glue on that one as well. Here comes the air again. Sorry about that guys, but it's so hot in here I have to keep it on. I think I said it before, but we live in a 1968 tin can trailer. Um, and I call it a tin can because of it getting so hot in here. But um, I am grateful to have a roof over my head, so please don't take what I said wrong. So, we don't have central air and uh, have to use window air conditioning. 
and we have one in our living room and one in the kitchen. So we kind of have to keep them running or it gets super hot, especially when it's muggy out, out there. I can't get that off. Get it with tweezers later or something. Or is that on? The, yeah, it is. It's a piece of hair. Or fuzz. Oh, it's a piece of fuzz from that uh, wipe. Okay, now we just need a little label. Uh, <sighs> which ones do we want to use? Let me see what I got in here. If I have something different than what I already did. Let's see. That match. It's kind of a greeny color, though. Oh, that would look cute. It's kind of the greeny blue, though, too. Not sure. That would be pretty too. Mm, it's too big. Don't you just love how us crafters have to keep looking? <laughs> oh, I forgot about these. Oops, just now with my pencil. Um, these are from Blossom Paper Art. But these are all purple, so... Oh, this is kind of a bluey color. Yeah, that's pretty. Maybe I'll put it up here. No, no, no. Uh, patty, patty, patty. Oh, these are neat. Here we go. I like that. I think that will work. Let me see, just see, whoop, just lost half of them out of the stamp book. No wonder why you're only supposed to put one stamp in beside each other. <laughs> I got blue here, but it's on some Tim Holtz ones. Nope. Nope. I'm going to stick with that. I think I like it. Yep, I think I like it the best so far. I know I got tons of other labels elsewhere, but let's just dig in them out. And some I got in, you know, the little cases, but I don't have enough for everyone. They're already all taken from different digi kits that I've purchased. Oh, I, f I got... Yeah. I gotta use this stuff up. Okay, that's gonna go right there. So there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it. And I thank you all for joining me today and for watching and I hope you'll stick around for the next video and I hope you all have a, an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.